and a new project is upon us. So what do we have? Got a 1948 Chevy Thriftmaster 3100 pickup truck. I bought the truck kind of somewhat complete about three and a half or four years ago. And this is the state that it was in. I found this truck sitting in the middle of the field. And once I tracked down the owner of the property, I ended up buying this truck from him for $450. The body wasn't even bolted to the frame. It was being held in place by these nylon ratcheting straps. And the frame wasn't even original to the truck. By the looks of it, it came out of some 80s car or a truck. I wasn't planning on using that frame, so as soon as I pulled the body off, the frame got promptly cut up and recycled. So about two years, I blasted off all of the paint and uh, put a coat of primer on this thing so this way it wouldn't continue rusting. I used a pressure washer nozzle attachment that basically draws a blasting media into a stream of water and that makes it very potent and takes the paint off the surface with ease. All of the paint and all of the surface rust got blasted away, exposing all of the bare metal underneath. So this is the best way to find out what is the true condition of all of your substrate. And I gotta tell you, I got lucky with this one because this cab is about 97% solid. So it is my understanding that originally this truck used to be a state of Washington forestry service vehicle. Uh, there's still some of the original yellow paint that left um, in some areas down here. So all in all, the body is pretty good. There's really no rust besides just the uh, surface rust. There is a little bit of pitting in some areas, but the metal is still nice and strong. And this is basically what I was looking for when I was looking for one of these trucks. I just did not want to uh, get a rust bucket that needed literally half of the panels to be replaced. So the main thing that rusts on these trucks is the uh, floor pan. It just gets rotted out and then there's really no other way of fixing it but having it replaced. And actually I got really lucky because the uh, floor pan on this truck is pretty solid. So the less stuff I have to replace on this truck, obviously the better. So there are some areas on this truck that have some areas that are rusted through. This is the stuff that I'm gonna end up uh, doing some work on. Another common area on these trucks to rust out is uh, these lower cab corners. And actually I do have a hole where I can, I could fit a couple of fingers in this side. And I think the other side is about the same. Huh, I take it back. It's actually not rusted out. It's a, uh, it is somewhat of a, it's a drainage hole of some sort and there's no rust there at all. So maybe my other side's not really that bad either. Let's take a look. You know what, looking at it right now, it actually doesn't look that bad. So I will just still probably replace a smaller section instead of having to uh, replace the entire cab corner because all in all, the uh, sheet metal is still really good down here. Also, back when I got the, uh, the truck, it did have these uh, lights up on the roof. And I'm pretty sure that these were installed there, uh, you know, when it was still part of the forestry service. So in the beginning, when I started looking for one of these trucks, I wanted to get a truck that was a five window. Five window meaning it's got a split front window where you have two pieces of glass here with a split in the center. And then you got your center back window. And then you also got two side windows. The good thing about the two side windows is they allow a lot more light into the cab. Plus that really eliminates some blind spots and you can see much better out of the sides and I think they just look way cooler than the three window trucks. I do have some really big plans for this thing. I want to turn this into a uh, show truck. Came across this picture online a couple of years ago and just absolutely fell in love with this truck. The two-tone red and black paint job just looks killer. So I'm going to use this picture as an inspiration for my own build. And of course, I will have my own unique finishing touches that will surely make my truck stand out at any car show. I'll be able to get all of the body work out to where it looks perfect. It'll look better than it did the day it left the uh, factory because these things were just thrown together somewhat hastily. Um, they were meant to be just a work truck, nothing really more than that. The fitment on a lot of panels wasn't that great and I want to change all that. 
This truck will get a modern drivetrain, and by that I mean it's going to get a 5.3 liter LS engine that came out of a 2005 Chevy Silverado. This is the frame that we're going to be using. You can tell it's been sitting here for a while because it got overgrown. So I guess the first order of business would be to uh, actually dig this frame out. This frame is going to get modified and as far as modifications it will get a mini C notch. A different rear end is going to go in that's going to get modified. Leaf springs will get thrown out and a four link suspension with airbags will go in their place. So to continue on with the body, here's some more of that original yellow color. Now, the fenders that I got are actually decent. They're not beat up. Uh, there's not much rust on it other than the uh, surface rust in some places. I don't know if these fenders were fixed at any point in time because I see some cracking here and I don't know if it's just the paint or if there's some Bondo underneath that's cracking. I'll, uh, I'll find out that soon enough once I strip all of the uh, paint off. I took this whole nose off a couple years back and it's just kind of been sitting here in my backyard. The original hood off the truck is right here. It does have these weird cutouts on the side. I'm not sure what those are all about. All in all, this hood is in good condition, so I may end up using it and just put some patch panels in that area. I mean, I don't know what this is. I'm not sure why something was cut out. I'm not sure if that was a uh, factory option for something, which it very well could have been. It looks like this hood at some point got worked because if you look right here, you see that piece of trim that runs dead center of the hood and it goes all the way from the front to the back. And if you were to flip this hood around, there are series of bolts that once removed will basically split this hood in two halves. I guess that's just the way they used to build stuff back in the day. And if you look at this hood that I got here, it was split in the beginning, but then someone decided that they would just bondo that seam. And yeah, there's a big old crack that runs all the way back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this hood, probably not. I'm probably gonna end up just fixing that yellow hood there. We are inside of my tent here where I got a ton of junk just sitting here, but I do have another cab. This is actually the first cab that I got when I decided to do a vintage truck project and it's also a three window truck. These bedsides came off of the yellow truck too, I believe. It's been so long ago that I got the parts, I starting to forget certain things. Here's the engine. Once again, as I said, it's a 5.3 liter out of an 05 Chevy Silverado. And there's the 4L60 transmission that's set up for a real wheel drive. So since I have two cabs, I originally was thinking, hey, you know what, once I get done with the first truck, maybe I'll build a second one. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and uh, let this cab go. So if there's anyone in Washington State or even Oregon State that wants to get a pretty solid cab out of a 47 through 54 Chevy 5 window, let me know, I'll cut you a deal. So I do want to go all out and I want to make this truck awesome. And I know a lot of the time, if you wanted to source a build like this out to a shop, you can spend tens of thousands of dollars in the labor alone. But since I'll be doing all the labor myself, my only expense is just going to be the cost of parts. And as I mentioned earlier, I've been gathering parts up for this truck for the past few years, meaning I always keep an eye out for a deal. I rarely buy stuff at full price, and my budget for this whole build is about 12 grand. I don't know, maybe even less. I do keep a list of all the parts that I buy and all the money that I spend, so at the end I will show you a complete breakdown of 
every dollar that went to build this truck and hopefully it will not break the bank. If you guys think that this looks like an interesting build to follow, make sure to subscribe so this way you don't miss any future videos. And also don't forget to hit that bell notification. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you click that like button. And I'll be seeing you here in the next video real soon.